Tracy Wimmer is joining us today from Consumers Energy. Welcome back, Tracy. Morning. Let's talk about your Consumers Energy Clean Energy Plan. What is it and how's that progress going? Yeah, so that's our roadmap for essentially how we're going to move forward with the renewable transition uh, through 2040. And we have some pretty lofty goals. One of our biggest is that we're going to have 8,000 megawatts of solar online by then, um, which wow. you know most of the, the projects that we're bringing online right now are a couple hundred. So you can imagine, like, that's a lot wow. of work. We're making great progress towards that. Uh, but... You know, obviously we've got a, a bit of a ways to go, so we're still working hard on that aspect. But it's also about reducing our emissions. That's a huge part of ours. And so a lot of that is uh, fueled through our renewables expansion, solar, wind, uh, and also uh, exploring other alternatives as So well. talk about that, how it relates to Michigan. What's going to happen? Yeah, so obviously some legislation passed and was signed into law thus fall that, uh, you know, implements some pretty stringent clean energy standards. And luckily we already had our clean energy plan in place. That was something we uh, implemented and developed voluntarily several years ago. And so that get, gives us a really good, like I said, a roadmap for how we're going to make that transition. So it's uh, making sure that we're moving forward with achieving the net zero goals, making sure that we're bringing more renewable projects online and ultimately reducing costs for customers in the process. How many new projects have you brought online lately? Um, so, you know, every year we're bringing more and more, and some of them are things like last year we announced that we're going to take one of the coal plants we decommissioned and turn it into, uh, have a solar array on that property. Oh, so that's nice. that's 85 megawatts right there that we're able to do pretty simply. Mm -hmm. uh, and in some cases, their projects are smaller or larger than others, but we have several that are going to come online this year that are going to be some pretty big additions, uh, including our Heartland Wind Farm that just got online. I, I wanted year. to ask you about that. So tell me about that. Where is That's in central Michigan, right? Yeah, yep. Uh, and so the that when we have wind farms, we've got a lot of turbines in one location, right? And the amount of energy that we're going to generate at that facility alone is going to be able to power over 300,000 homes. Wow. Yeah. So um, in cases like that, we're, we're working to develop these larger projects that we know are going to really accelerate our ability to make that transition. And like I said, it, it ultimately ends up saving customers money down the road because the cheapest energy is energy you can use over and over again. So when we're we're north of St. John's on 127, we see all those windmills. Are, is that consumer's energy then? Uh, it's sometimes a mix. Uh, okay. You know, there are a lot of, we have a lot of big projects like that where they're all uh, combined together, but we do also work with individual landowners uh, mm -hmm. in, in opportunities where people who own uh, property can put either solar arrays or wind turbines if they want on their property. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Find out more information at consumersenergy.com. Always enlightening talking with you, Tracy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.